This is going to be a quick video on how to crop out uh, a circle and uh, you can use the crop tool to do rectangles, very easy to do. But what if you just want to make a circle around like someone's face or a background image? So I'll go over here to the ellipse tool and I will just draw a circle around my wife's face right there. And you can notice it draws this big white circle on it. You can come up here to the transparent and click on it and then go over to the selection tool and click on it again. Do it. And now you can kind of see behind it and you can kind of see where, where you might want to move this. And go ahead and adjust this as you want to. You could also uh, decrease the size of it. Now there's another way you can do this. I'll go ahead and click this back to where it fills in with a white circle. And if you click the ellipse tool one more time over here, then go up to the preview cutter, cutter preview. Now what that will do, it will kind of fades out everything behind it, makes it transparent and only highlights what you basically want to do. And here again, at the same time, you can kind of shrink it down a little bit and move it around at this point, which I find better because that way I can actually see what's going on behind it as well back in here. Once I get that to where I want it to be, I just come up here to the cutter, shape cutter, click on it and it will automatically go in there and cut out that image and gives me a transparent background with the circle. Took me a while to figure this one out, but uh, I did watch a Corel video that showed how to do that, so I was very glad to find that, and I figured I'd make a quick video on just how to do this. You can do this with shapes as well. For example, come over here and click the star shape, just for the heck of it. Draw one big star here. And in the same process, go up to preview, and I will move this again a little bit right in here. And here again, the background kind of cuts my eyes, in, but this will work for this example. And then hit the uh, cutter, shape cutter. And here again, I'll do it with a shape. And now I have that cut out with the background. So I hope you found this informative. Uh, it took me a while to figure this out, like I said, but it's very easy, very quick to do. So if you don't mind, go ahead and like and subscribe and leave me a comment down below if there's something else you might like to see. Thanks for watching.